Well, I think what makes The Mandalorian an exciting character um, for Star Wars fans and for new audiences alike is that he is a mysterious, central figure whom we uh, step into this uh, outer reaches world of the Star Wars galaxy. And um, he's cloaked in mystery, um, uh, uh, an entire story that's like literally hidden um, underneath the armor. So it's that exciting kind of uh, journey of, of, of gradually um, getting to know the unknowable. Brilliant. I can tell you that. They're yes, both brilliant. They're you definitely both, feel like yeah. you are... Um, Supported. And in the presence time. of, yeah, yeah, genius. Big time. No, they both know so much, first of all, having written these stories and for as long as Filoni's been involved in the, uh, the Lucasfilm world and done so much with uh, the Star Wars stuff, uh, has like the right hand of George. I mean, you know, this guy, this guy is a guy, he's a resource. A resource and a half, I'd say, because you ask him any questions about that, and he really knows it, you know. But he's so, in a strange way, his generosity is that he's not so uh, 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 precious about any of it, you know. Mm. He's just going to have a conversation with him about it. And that isn't to say that John doesn't, I mean, he, man, John is brilliant. He has so much in his head about this and so many other things of storytelling. So either one of those guys, to me, is fantastic to go to. And Cara Dune, uh, Cara Dune uh, fought for the Galactic War on the Rebellion side, and um, she's an ex-shock trooper, but when we find her, she's kind of gone rogue, and she's living in these, she goes from planet to planet, and she picks up, you know, different jobs, and this is where we find her in The Mandalorian. Um, she thinks, you know, he's there to take her in as a bounty, and so... We just see how that relationship develops.